Hey watercolor friends, this is Rachel from Ampersand Paints and Palettes. Welcome to my channel and a new review. This is the Peg and All Sendak Roll and it is one of my most treasured art supplies. Um, and I want to introduce you to all of its features and tell you about why I love it so much. So this roll I take to my art classes um, for plein air sketching and painting and it holds everything I need just in one place so it's so handy to throw in a bag and just take with me and I also I know a lot of us right now this is during all of the coronavirus um, lockdown and even just going from downstairs where my hobby space is to upstairs it just makes it easy to tote around all of my most used supplies so I wanted to give you a look at the Sendak roll itself and also the supplies that I keep in my kind of watercolor go kit um, so first I'll show you the Sendak roll this is the truffle color it's a nice kind of neutral grayish brown color and they have um, the strap in black or brown the black is limited to certain colors, um, but all of the colors and finishes are beautiful. You can see this is the Sendak from Peg and All. And then I also got the personalization. So my initials are on the back and that's the placement for the initials. Okay, so what do I have in here? Um, I've got several travel brushes and I love this style for traveling because your brushes are protected when you're on the go. This is a mix of brushes from Rosemary Co. This is a Rosemary Co. brush. Dagger brush, which I love. I'm just going to set these to the side so I can kind of wet the tips before I put them back in so I don't damage the bristles. And then I also have a set of three round brushes from Escoda. Um, which Escoda has several different options in these um, kind of bullet style brushes. So these are another great quality option. Princeton Brush Co. has some. There's tons of um, cheaper versions on Amazon and in various places. I encourage you to use your local art supply shop. Um, but there's lots of different options in these bullet style. Those happen to be my favorite that I've come across. Um, then I've got some Princeton brush, a rigger brush, or a liner brush actually, number two liner brush, and then just a small round detail brush, five over zero. I've got a white gel pen. It's a uniball um, for doing like highlights and little details. A brush pen with, um, I've got platinum carbon black ink in there so it's waterproof when it dries. My favorite fountain pen, oops, which happens to be the Twisby Echo. A mechanical pencil, a couple of different, I think I've got, you know, like a 6B, a 4H, and a HB, a couple different pencils, a white pencil, and then um, a few different sizes of my Micron pens. Um, I prefer them in black, but they have different colors. And these are also archival. Um, they're waterproof, so I'll draw with these and then add watercolor, and it's they're great for those. And so you have several. You can see, I think there's 16. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, yeah, 16 <laughs> um, kind of spots for pens or brushes in the front. Um, and with smaller brushes, you saw I had kind of doubled up, and I keep the little plastic protectors just to throw on when I'm traveling to protect the, the ends of the brushes. Um, so a couple things you can kind of stuff in a, in a couple, but most of these spaces, they're pretty narrow, so just one thing is going to fit. In the larger interior pockets, so there's, I'll put the dimensions and also link to the website below, but you've got kind of two smaller um Larger than below, but larger pockets up here, um, and then two even larger in the middle. So right here, if you're familiar with um, the Charlie watercolor palettes, palettes um, mine fits perfectly right in this um, 
So there's my Charlie palette. And that is perfect. And then on the other side, I have my Sugar House ceramic um, little palette. And those two are like perfect fits. I'm so pleased that they fit in here. I've got a larger um, goat hair brush. This one is Silver Brand. Just a two inch little brush um, for doing large washes. A ruler and the you can get these protectors I don't know that they're necessary but um, there are these sheets that you can get to protect some of your keep it the keep it rigid so your brushes are protected for example and then in here I, think I just have one in there right now this is great for all of these things you might notice they're pretty narrow I didn't put a lot of wide things in here because um, when you're folding this up it can, it can get bulky depending on what you have in the pockets so the more narrow the items are that you have in the easier it's gonna close you can of course have it be really bulked up um, but I prefer it to lay a little bit flatter so this, this is from art toolkit and you could fit even a, a couple of these in these pouches but this is a very small very compact little palette and there you can see it in the palm of my hand for scale um, so these are awesome you can buy I've got all three size pans here so they've got a small pan a standard and a double and you can do I mean they did a kind of a contest to see if someone could mathematically figure out how many configurations there are and there are probably hundreds of thousands I don't think anyone could ever figure it out but you can really arrange this however you want um, for brush size here's a size six brush um, these are shallow enough that you really don't have to kind of drill down in so these smaller sizes actually do work I was a little bit concerned about that but they're fine and if you want to use a larger um, pan you can see how big those are and then they also have mixing pans so you can really configure these to be exactly how you want and they are so tiny that it's easy to throw in and take wherever you want so I've got that in there and then in the zipper pouch here on the side and this is an area that you really I found I don't really like to have very bulky things in here it's not a huge amount of space but it's great for these little kind of knickknacks so I've got a whiskey painters cup for water and I could also Probably it's got a little like keychain. I could probably latch this on the outside if I wanted to. A little pencil sharpener. This was also from Sugar House Ceramic Co. An eraser, a couple different kinds of erasers, and then a little pocket mister to mist my paints. And that was also from Art Toolkit. And I'm not even done yet, you guys, with what is in here. There are also, in addition to all the interior pockets, there are two exterior pockets on the back. So if you lift this up on the back of the pouch, there are two exterior pockets. So this is a sketchbook from Peg and All that I have if it's perfectly in this back pocket. They also have some that fit into these. And then back here I have a Sylvan Clayworks palette. So I'm trying to decide if I want to use this palette mostly or this one or both. Um, but those are both good options. This is a discontinued style, I think, um, but Sarah over at Sylvan Clayworks has a similar one, and it, it's nice and, and thin, so it works great in the Sendak roll. Um, I'm gonna go grab, I'm just gonna pause for a second and go grab um, one more thing to show you. Okay, I also wanted to show you um, this is also from Peg and All, and it is absolutely gorgeous, a paint palette. It doesn't have a mixing surface, as you can see, which is why I have a couple of different things for here. I, eventually, I would love to use this, but I haven't decided <laughs> which 12 colors, so I really want to think about um, that, but that fits beautifully right into this. Back pouch. I'm trying not to stab myself with the pencils, but you can see it fits beautifully back there. It's made for this um, Sendak roll, 
So that is absolutely gorgeous. And I think this isn't the most practical palette that I have, but I'm really excited to use it because it's, it's beautiful. And when you're using beautiful supplies like this and the ceramic palettes that I have and tra the Charlie palette, it just makes the painting experience all the more special. Um, you, I also wanted to show you, so this is kind of a more standard um, palette. This could also fit in there. It's just going to bulk it up, and so you just have to kind of see what works for you. I personally like to use the narrower ones. Okay, and so then when you're ready, you just fold this over. Oops, fold this in. Close this up. And buckle it. And it's ready to toss in a bag. So like I said, I will link um, the Peg and All website below and I'll include dimensions and all that kind of thing and um, information about some of the other products that I included um, in this video as well. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them below. I do my best to answer all the questions. Um, and if there are more videos that you'd like to see from me, please ask for those as well. I'm happy to try and meet some requests. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.